just how water resistant are wax jackets anyway? This is something I've always wondered about, and to be honest, this is a test that I've wanted to do for a long time. Sure, wax jackets look cool, but do they actually work in the rain? Well, I couldn't just wait for a rainy day, so I rigged up a hose above my head and I poured water on myself. So, this test will show four different wax jackets and exactly how water resistant they are after about a minute of being under a constant downpour. Now to start off, we're gonna get a baseline with this Carhartt Super Ducks jacket. This is not waxed canvas, but I wanted to show what something else would do, something that is actually supposed to be water resistant. This is a modern interpretation of what I feel these other four jackets are like. Now, this is a nylon faced fabric with DWR applied to it. Now, DWR is a finish. It does wear off over time, very much like wax will on jackets, which is why I thought this would be kind of an appropriate thing to compare it to those other ones. But as you can see, the water, it beads up and it falls right off of the jacket. So this is perfect for the you know occasional rain shower, especially when you know it's slushy or, or snow outside. It works really well in those conditions. In my opinion, this is really second only to Gore-Tex when it comes to water repellency. It's really great. And there I am questioning my life's decisions. Now, after I got out from underneath that rain shower, you can see a little bit of wetness on my shirt there. The one lower down was probably from my fingers when I opened it up, and the one near the top was probably dripping off my beard. It was only a, 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 just a hood after all, so I think this performed exceptionally well. The Allen Edmonds Waxed Jacket. Now, this is maybe not even something that you can get today. This is a product from Allen Edmonds. Allen Edmonds, being a shoe company, probably licensed this product from somebody else, and it looks a lot like a barber. Now, I'm not saying that Barber actually makes this, but when I was wearing this and I was standing underneath that rain head, I could feel the water coming in through the shoulder seams. Now, I spent approximately a minute underneath the shower with each one of these jackets. I set my phone off to the side with an alarm going off at the one minute interval. And, uh, you know, just from that little time underneath this, I could start to feel it soak through and into the inside of the jacket. It was getting pretty uncomfortable at this point. And so I believe around here is where I took it off. Now you'll see the shoulders, there was a lot of leakage. And of course there is that storm flap, which is nice, but look at the shoulders of my shirt there. So they're soaked. And again, you know, that was, you know, downpour condition, but for only about a minute, but still, if that's enough time for you to run to your car or from your car into where you're going, leaking through those shoulder seams that way is unacceptable. And the inside of the coat, the liner is also soaked. This is the Tom Beck B Tensaw Jacket. Now this is a jacket which claims to be a perfect companion for hunting or any of the outdoor activities. One of the great things about this is all of the, the pockets on the inside have flaps so you can really close them down. Everything is, is very watertight. Even the neck piece comes up like that. Now I'm also wearing a Tom Beck B hat here, which is a waxed canvas as well. It has some vent holes in it so there was a little bit of leakage in there. But you can see it does a great job of keeping the rain off of my face, even enduring four of these jackets. It was, it was exceptionally good. So there you can see that obviously the wax is doing its job. It's making the water fall right off of it, although some of it does appear to be sticking. And how did this one perform? Well, it performed very, very well. There's a little spot there by my chin. Again, that might have been from my beard. But if you can see, nothing coming through the arms, nothing coming through the seams. It did a great job. This is the Ship John Wills jacket. Now this is not meant to be an outdoor excursion type of jacket. It's more workwear that's dressed up in a more modern fashion. So the pockets, the hand pockets there, those are open at the top. They do collect a little bit of water. The whole idea here I think is more just, you know, the occasional rain shower, the occasional splash that might hit you. But this is the thickest of the bunch. This thing will stand up on its own. A full review of this is coming soon. But there you can see all of the wax is doing its job. And I should mention as well, all of these jackets have approximately the same amount of wear on them being worn occasionally. Um, the Allen Edmonds probably has the most wear on it, but that still didn't solve that seam problem. So how did the Ship John perform? Excellent. Again, same thing. I think a little bit of that is from my beard since it seems to be in the same place on each one of these, but nothing coming through the shoulder seams, nothing coming through anywhere else. It did a wonderful job. Finally, the Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker Jacket. Now this is one of the, this is the only jacket that did not have a storm flap. 
So automatically, I figure I'm probably going to get a little bit of water coming in where those buttons are. There's no zipper beneath that. All of the other jackets either had a zipper and a storm flap or just a zipper. Something that's a little bit more rain repellent. Now, again, this is really supposed to look like workwear. It's more of a style jacket. It's not necessarily something that you would wear if you were going hunting or anything like that. Um, but I think it actually performed exceptionally well. Now, there it is getting pretty wet. I have worn this one quite a bit, more than the Allen Edmonds. So let's see how it performed. And there you go, a little bit in the front, like I mentioned, where those buttons are, since it's not as watertight as a zipper with a storm flap. Again, around my neck there, which it probably is from my beard, maybe not, maybe a little bit coming up from the collar, but overall, I think it did a great job. So there you go, four wax jackets, which are compared at least as far as rain repellency goes, courtesy of a very cold shower from my hose outside. Anyway, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Please talk to me in the comments down below. I love chatting with you down there, and I'll catch you next time.